hello to everybody. Okay, now I'm going to be talking about uh, creating the next city through individuals, through you. So this concerns everybody in this room. First of all, I want to talk about uh, changing the mindset, changing individuality, changing yourself, so you can change the city and change the nation. So we have a thesis. Uh, our thesis says we're going to be changing the world through investing in scalable entrepreneurship, investing in zero billion dollar companies. You look at the uh, problems we uh, face right now, humanity faces right now, there are many of them. Start from environment to financial systems, everything is broken. Ethics, uh, there's a lot of social risks everywhere. There's politics, there's healthcare, you name. So the, uh, when you look at the history, throughout the history, whenever there's a paradigm shift, it's always been through technologies. So technology is finding an efficient technology. The next paradigm is the most important thing that will drive the nations, that will drive the humanity, that will drive the cities to the next phase of the world. So we try to bring change uh, with um, high impact, companies, social impact companies. So how does that happen? It happens with entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are the heroes, entrepreneurs are the missionaries. So they are the provocateurs, they are the risk takers. Entrepreneurs do everything that you cannot imagine, that's like, that looks like a dream, that's um, impossible. When you look from now, with the little resources they have, they make it, they, because they have the passion, they make it happen. So we are actually living in a, a wonderful times because um, most of the technologies are commoditized. It's in our fingertips, the knowledge, the know-how. We have internet, everybody uh, reaches it. So the barriers to technology, to knowledge is all down, right? It's a very, very special time. So one person can make the most change right now. So it... Um, so what is my job? My job is I'm the venture creator, what the Westerns call venture capitalist. So why do we matter? We matter because we try to keep the venture capital, uh, we try to keep the entrepreneurship, we try to keep the ecosystems, industrial ecosystems clean, try to find, try to find the patterns for the next billion dollar companies. We try to create conflicts in the companies we tr because we believe there's no conflict, there's no interest. And uh, our vision is based on gut feeling, finding the illogical people who can dream the future. So when we look at these patterns, we see uh, there is a, such a thing called a billion dollar entrepreneur, a billion dollar company, a billion dollar nation. So when we look at the characteristics of it, we see some similarities. I want to go through them to make it... Um, so one of them is an entrepreneur is indifferent to life and death. So they embrace risk. They take the social risk. Social risk is the biggest risk that an entrepreneur takes. You have to turn your back to your family sometimes, your wife, your husband, your brother, your sister. Everybody says you're crazy. You just have to do it. You have great passion to make your dream come true. And the fearlessness, being brave, is one of the essence of being an entrepreneur. Loyalty. An entrepreneur is loyal to their team, to their mission. Without that, entrepreneur cannot exist. Discipline and asceticism. Discipline is very important. They wake up every day, whether they failed the previous day or they succeeded, and try to push their dream to the next level. So this is just being an A player, you call it, or having the discipline, having the asceticism to make your dreams come true, to make your passion a reality. Simplicity. An entrepreneur thinks, in a very simple terms, what it will do to humanity, what it will do to your city, how it will affect uh, your future, everybody's future. So that will bring out the essence of your uh, project, of your dream, and focus is very important. That simplicity also brings focus to an entrepreneur. So focus, 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 that's one of the most important values of an entrepreneur. Honesty and self-esteem. 
So there is no billion dollar companies without honesty. What does honesty mean? Honesty, of course, not telling the, uh, lies about yourself or the project, but it's mostly the ability to have a beginner's mind, to be able to look at your life, to look at your team, to look at everything with a very clear mind. And to be honest about it and see your mistakes and wake up the next day to make it better and better and better without getting tired. Self-esteem is one of the um, values we see in emerging markets. Uh, it's, um, we, we always take ourselves, because we don't see many examples in our countries, in our cities, in our nations, of uh, billion dollar examples with a clear DNA, with a uh, clean, young, next paradigm DNA. We always wait for some other guy in America to invent a rocket ship or to invent um, an next cure for cancer, to invent a, a, a solution for environmentalism and just um, environmental problems and apply it in our countries. So we need to have the self-esteem to stand up and do what is required and make our dreams come true. Not all the solutions come from other places. You know, if you see it, it means it's your problem. You have to go grab it. It's your mission. So failure is a part of learning. Never give up. You know, you, it's, a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's not like you start the day and three months later you're a billionaire. It's a long, long journey. So if you believe in it, you will make it come true. An entrepreneur is never a mercenary. He doesn't look at short-term milestones. He looks at a mission. He's a missionary. He works every day. He's uh, looking after, he's working after, making a difference, making a change in life. So, um, I have a question right now that, uh, what does a bullfighter, a samurai, and an entrepreneur have in common? So that's an um, interesting comparison for me that I wanted to share with you, because um, all of those three um, perform an art. It's nothing to do with logic. It's about passion. And when they see death, when they face it, and if they survive after that, they always come up with more creative solutions. Entrepreneur is pretty much a blade runner, just like a bullfighter or a samurai. And they're all indifferent to life and death. Uh, they are willing to die in order to live. And one of the trends that we see in startups is uh, a startup goes through near-death experiences, and every time they face that, they come out of it much smarter, and they know better, they have a better strategy, they focus better. And under conflicts, when they face death, they have no mind. It's almost like a metaphysical experience. It's unconsciousness. Their unconsciousness kicks in. And uh, this is where the creativity comes from. So when we look at billion dollar companies, you know, driving from that billion dollar um, entrepreneur characteristics, a billion dollar company needs to be disruptive, needs to be a leader, needs to be a category dominant company. And within the company, there should be no entitlement. It should be all working on meritocracy, uh, on merits. There should be no pack of wolves in the, in the company. One of the other things is, uh, in order to change the city, you need to have, your company needs to have an efficient business model so that you can create an ecosystem around it. And they need, they ha they need to have the ability to pivot, they need to learn from the mistakes. Rebirth is a part of the whole process of a billion dollar company. When we look at a billion dollar geography, a billion dollar city, a billion dollar nation, we see the same things. We see meritocracy, we need in-depth, thinking based on training and education, discipline, ethics redefined, and um, almost a bed for a new form of civilization. So what does, uh, when I apply, what does it mean, Amman 2.0? So I want to leave you with these words. All progress depends on the unreasonable, unreasonable man. So I want you to embrace social risks. I want you to embrace people who actually stand up and take social risks in your city and make the change that uh, we've been long waiting for. Thank you very much.